LARF, written and illustrated by Ashley Spires. Have you ever felt like nobody knows you even exist? That's exactly how LARF feels, and he likes it that way. LARF is a Sasquatch, the only Sasquatch, it seems. He lives a quiet life in the woods with his bunny, Eric. He was almost discovered once or twice. A hairy seven-foot-tall scarf-sporting man-beast is pretty hard to miss. It's a guy in a gorilla suit. An escaped circus bear, Aunt Mildred. A computer faked it. But luckily for him, people rarely believe in anything new and strange, and LARF is definitely strange. LARF knows no one would ever leave him alone if they found out he was real. Primate Magazine, LARF, the story behind the hair, LARF's scarf, the season's hottest accessory, Sasquatch discovered, Bigfoot's bunny, shocking tell-all memoir, secret Sasquatch hideaway. The thought of all that attention makes him a bit sweaty. Larf fills his days happily on his own, jogging, taking Eric for walks, and gardening. Until one morning, he notices an odd article in the newspaper. It claims that a Sasquatch is scheduled to make an appearance today in the nearby city of Hunderfitz. How can that be? He's not planning a trip to Hunderfitz. And even if he was, he certainly wouldn't be going on a Wednesday. It's laundry day. Larf realizes this can only mean one thing. He is not the only Sasquatch in the world. This could change everything. Larf isn't sure he wants to change. But having another Sasquatch around opens up so many possibilities. Tater-tottering would no longer be impossible. He could share hair grooming tips, and his witty, witty commentary on cheesy movies would no longer go to waste. That settles it. Larf has to meet this other Sasquatch. Traveling to Hunterfitz is generally something that he avoids, but this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Besides, Larf is a master of camouflage. He is sure to go unnoticed. Don't beat. Billy, don't stare. What is that? Aunt Mildred? On the way, Larf starts to wonder what the other Sasquatch will be like. If this guy is making appearances, then he could be a bit of a show-off. Larf isn't sure he wants to be around someone like that. What if they don't get along? What if the other Sasquatch doesn't like Larf? What if he does like him and wants to move in? What if he doesn't pick up his laundry? What if he eats meat? What if he's allergic to Eric? Or worse yet, what if he is a she? Larf really isn't ready to meet a girl. He hasn't had a bath in, well, ever. By the time he arrives, Larf is having second thoughts. He really does enjoy being on his own. All the activity, all the people, and all the noise are making things worse. Larf can hardly see straight, let alone think straight in all this hubbub. Bigfoot burgers. Sasquatch this way. Does this other Sasquatch actually like being around so many people? Will life with someone else always be this loud? Suddenly, Lars spots the other Sasquatch. But something doesn't seem quite right. Why are its eyeballs not moving? Why is there a zipper down its belly? And since when could a Sasquatch wear perfectly normal-sized running shoes? You aren't a real Sasquatch, Larf realizes aloud. The other Sasquatch removes its head. Of course not. Sasquatches aren't real, the guy underneath replies. There is no other Sasquatch. It was all a big fake. Larf is disappointed, but at least he can return to his quiet life in the woods. Then, while Larf is waiting for the bus back home, a voice says, Your bunny is super cute. Larf looks up, and this time, 
what he sees seems exactly right. It looks him right in the eyes and blinks. It's covered in hair, but has no zipper, and its feet are enormous. My name is Cheryl, and, and this is Patricia, the other Sasquatch says, smiling. Like Larve, she has come to meet the real Sasquatch. Now it seems she has. Larf invites her over for supper next Wednesday. They are the only two of their kind in the whole world, after all. It's just the polite thing to do. Cheryl agrees. But I should tell you, neither Patricia nor I eat meat. Larf decides that just as soon as he gets home, he's going to have a bath. After he does his laundry, of course. The end. <laughs>